Now you don't have to get into too many specifics because this is a lifestyle we're talking about, but what kind of emotions or situations cause you to cry at work specifically? At work specifically, I feel like relationship shit always goes down during work hours and I don't know why. Oh my God, that's so real. It's like the most inappropriate time, but yeah. yeah. Always, always during work hours where it's like somebody shoots you a text and they're like, I just don't think this is going to work. Oh. Or like, we should talk later. And it's like, you could have waited until like 6.01 p.m. That's so unfair. That's like, really unfair. On. I don't well, like really, that. It's not nice. It's really not nice. And it's, it, that would be like the equivalent of breaking up with someone like during a math test. Hey, psst, psst, hey, I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> I'm fucking taking a math test. Do you know about decimals? Can we talk about that? Like, come on. It sucks. <laughs> I hate yeah. that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. That happened a lot in my twenties. It was just like, mm-hmm. are these years not cold enough? <laughs> um, and also just like the general pressures of a job where like being overextended is something that often makes me cry. Or sure. like want to cry um, because I uh, want to do a good job and like I want I want to be able to handle everything that that's been handed to me and I'm expected to be able to take on and sometimes it's just not possible or doesn't feel possible in the moment so if that's something that it like will make me cry at work or like I take feedback really personally and <laughs> I've gotten you know enough feedback that I'm just like hmm maybe I suck. <laughs> maybe I'm not a good employee after all which means I'm not a good person (laughs) it's all tied to identity especially like I feel like most women in our age range and that kind of thing these are things that have been instilled in us and it's it's a hard habit to break to think of yourself that way but I I definitely do wait Uh, you can break that habit where did you hear this well I said it was hard to break it (laughs) But I didn't say anyone has. Okay. Well, if you hear of anyone doing that, can you like hook me up, please? <laughs> we'll have them, we'll have them as a guest on the podcast. Oh my god, yeah. If if you have figured out how to not tie your identity to <laughs> your work, please email us. Yeah. Hello at christinawolfgram.com immediately. <laughs> please. Get zero emails. I do get zero. <laughs>